Hello everyone! Today we're taking a quick look at Bob Marley, One Love. This was directed by Reynaldo Marcus Green and stars Kingsley Benadir, Lashana Lynch, and James Norton. This is based on the life and times of legendary reggae singer Bob Marley. Obviously. And while we get bits and pieces of Bob's childhood here and there, it mainly focuses on his life following the assassination attempt in 1976. He, his family, and his band flee Jamaica to escape the political violence, and that leads to the making of the Exodus album. Eventually, they return to Jamaica for the One Love Peace concert, and then he dies of cancer at the ripe old age of 36. The man survived getting shot in the chest only for cancer to do him in. Go figure. I can't say I enjoyed this as much as I thought I would. As far as musical biopics go, there's not a lot about this one that really makes it stand out. It's very basic, very safe. Ziggy Marley was a producer on this film, and in fact, when I saw it in the theater, it began with a brief introduction from Ziggy. And I suppose there's both good and bad that comes from involving the family in the biopic. On the one hand, getting input from his son means you're talking to someone who actually knew him personally. On the other hand, there's going to be a natural inclination to sugarcoat things, which is totally understandable. No child of a famous musician is going to want to tell an overwhelmingly negative story about their parents. Well, except Gary Crosby. In particular, the movie seems very reluctant to go into too much detail about Bob's relationship with his wife Rita. And just from reading a little bit about them, I gather their relationship may have been a bit rocky to say the least. I believe 11 children inherited the Marley name and only five are biologically related to both Bob and Rita. Some of the kids are just Bob's, some of the kids are just Rita's, Clearly there was trouble in paradise. And the only time this is even addressed is in one scene where they get into a brief argument very late in the movie, and that's about it. Other than that, any hints at any infidelity on Bob or Rita's part are very subtle. I dare say a bit too subtle. But of course, the real reason for these musical biopics is to sell more music, and it will probably do just that. And hey, it is good music, and there's plenty of it in the movie. The one thing that is really keeping this afloat is Kingsley Benadire as Bob Marley. The last time I saw him was in Secret Invasion, and the less said about that the better, but he was very good in that, considering what he had to work with. And in this movie, he is Bob Marley. He really nailed his mannerisms and the way he would dance on stage. It's just an excellent performance. And I really liked Lynch as Rita Marley, and oddly enough, she has also been in the MCU, thankfully in much better parts of it. Very talented actress, always good to see her. I just wish she had been given a little more to do in terms of really examining the relationship between Bob and Rita. Overall, it's fine. It ain't gonna knock your socks off, but I would say it's worth a rental. And that's all I have to say about Bob Marley, One Love. Till next time. Take care.